Many years ago, there lived a beautiful young woman whose name has sadly been lost to time. She was the fairest in her village and had a love for the wildlife that thrived alongside her tribe. In life, she was as pale as the moonlight, with her brown like the surrounding oak trees. Because of this, many men desired her, but her heart rested solely amongst the fawns. Though we've long since forgotten her name, we do remember how tenderly she cared for orphan fawns. Whenever a doe was lost to a hunt by her people, she'd nurse the babies, left without a mother. One night, some truly evil men took advantage of the kindness in her heart. A group of three lured her out to the woods under the darkness of a new moon, claiming to have found a fawn left her on her own and was hurt. But when they arrived at a spot they claimed the injured offspring lay, all she found were ropes. The three men bound her ignoring her pleas of terror, and then they took her body, using her for their own pleasure. Nobody but them heard her cries. At least, that's what they thought. When they finished savaging her, they left her there in a pool of her own blood. She lay there, dying, when they finally emerged from the shadows. The woman recognized this taunt, as she has raised him. He has to her to sprout just a hint of antlers. Using his velvety snout to nuzzle her cheek, he gave her cheek a lick, then looked up at the sky and cried. The young buck knew her time was fading, the second loss of a mother. As her eyes drifted close for the final time, she saw a deer step forth from nothing. Its appearance is dark as the night sky, ice silver like the moon. This woman took her final breath as the deer-shaped creature approached her, black smoke billowing from its hooves and antlers. Her last sight as a mortal was this animal bowing its head to her. She woke up some time later, body sore. The woman remembered everything and was well aware that she had died. Standing up, she found the ropes that formerly bound her have been burnt. Beside her lay there, the sleeping fawn, and a dress made of blackened deer fur. Clothing herself, she bid the fawn farewell and returned to her village. Seemed they were hosting a party. A fire was lit, and her tribe danced around the flames, singing joyously. Everybody was there, except for her widowed mother. The three men that took her life drank happily. No remorse in their eyes or on their lips. A ghastly smile came to her own mouth. Her once pale hand reached out toward the flames, perhaps seeking warmth for a moment. When she realized, her flesh was now the same color as a doe. Her hair had also darkened, now as black as the unlit night sky. She knew she was human no more. Just like the men had done before, she would take advantage of her current state. Intermingling within the crowd, she danced her way towards her killers. Unbeknownst to them, she had seduced and lured them away. And too late did they notice her feet had been replaced with hooves. And that is, <laughs> until she used them to stomp the three men to death, one by one. They were too drunk to realize they were even dead. Her spirit has long since been unable to rest. Vengeance and hatred in her heart, which once only held love for orphaned fawns. Now she's a spirit that lures away evil men who dare forsake the power of women and take away their innocence. Foolish men that fail to notice her antlers and hooves all meet in the same fate. And the day she finally lays to rest is the day that there are no men in this world. So to every young man hearing this tale, respect the women in your life. Do not take their wills and their bodies without their consent. If you fail to uphold their own personhood, 
You might just meet a woman who seems ethereal. You won't see her scarlet pupils or her antlers and hooves. You won't even see your life flash before your eyes. Instead, all you'll see is her smile and hear the cry of an orphan fawn before she takes your life.